Alrighty, what's up everybody? Good morning to you all. We're getting close to the afternoon. Peter fucking Joseph here for another video on this Thursday, January the 25th, 2024. Make sure you like the video and subscribe right now to this very channel, my other channels down there, dude, in the description box below. And then hit that bell so you can get more. And uh, leave a comment if you wish, but if you're going to leave a stupid comment, well, fuck you, man. You're going to get blocked, so don't do it. But, got to be real here. If you're not, you're out of here. You can't handle that? Well, tough shit. And that's that. Alright. On this cloudy, bleh, overcast, going to rain later here in New York City. Thursday, January the 25th, like I said, um, getting ready for to, to go to work and everything. I'm going to have to go to the office today, which is not fun, but, you know, you got to do it. So I'll be in the city for a little bit this afternoon, uh, this afternoon, doing my job. And I don't work from home that much. I'm usually in the, in the city, so... And I'm not going to prove it to you, so feck you. And that's it. Anyway. Anyway, so, uh, hope everybody has a great Thursday, and if not, well, too bad for you. But, wanted to come on here, wanted to talk about a couple things uh, that are in the news, in the wrestling world, the wrestling news, if you will. Uh, and the, well, <coughs> excuse me. Kind of Interesting news that I read on Ringside News and all the on Twitter and everything. Uh, WWE Raw. Now I talked about this about a day or so ago. I think it was on Tuesday that Monday Night Raw is going to be moving off the USA Network, starting in January of two thousand. Uh, well, it's going to be going to Netflix, I should say, going uh, starting in January two thousand twenty-five. Uh, but today, uh, there's another story that came out that the USA Network is not going to extend Raw when their deal ends. Um, I believe at the end, near the end of September. I think it's September the 21st or 24th, somewhere around that area. So after that date, Monday Night Raw will not be on the USA Network. Where is it going to go? Who the fuck knows? Might be going to Peacock. For temporarily from October till uh, January, uh, when uh, it goes to Netflix, beginning of January, the first Raw in January, which will probably be January the 7th, I think, 2025, somewhere around that area. But, you know, Raw is going to be on USA until September, I believe, September, like I said, September 24th. Let's just say the end of September. And then after that, we don't know yet for the next, basically, October, November, and all of December. They might be on Peacock. They might go to, they might go to Sci-Fi. I don't know. Just for the first for three months, they'll be on Sci-Fi. Who, who knows right now? But WWE's thinking about what to do regarding that. They're going to make an announcement soon. So when they make that announcement, I'll let you guys know what happens with that. But I still think going to Netflix is a really, really bad idea. Just saying. Uh, but they're saying there's still going to be commercials on Netflix. Of all things, how are you going to get a commercial on Netflix? I don't know. But I mean, they got a 10-year deal to be on Netflix. Which basically, I think every everything's going to be on on uh, streaming sites these uh, for the in the future, Conan. And you know. No more cable TV for that much, you know. Even CNN, C-SPAN, and Fox News are gonna be on like scre a streaming service like Fox News Net or whatever, whatever streaming site is on CNN Plus. I don't know what it is, but you want know, you want you want to you wanna watch TV? You want watch it on watch it on um on the computer or you know, watch it on your PS4, or five or six or whatever it is, whatever you watch your uh, apps on, maybe on the phone or whatever, uh, you know. I'm not a big fan of streaming services. I mean, I, I have, I don't have a lot of them. I have Amazon. I used to have Netflix. So I don't pay 
$15 anymore for that garbage. But, you know, so I miss the final season of Cobra Kai, but it is what it is. But I have Amazon and Hulu bundled because uh, of Disney. I have Disney Plus. I have Paramount Plus. I have Max. You know, I got a, I got a couple other ones, but that are free. Because I get it on the PS4 and I download it for free, but I still got to, you know, I get the free version. and But I still, if I wanted to watch some, something, something, I have to pay for the upgrade version or whatever it is. But, you know, but most of the time, you know, I'm watching, you know, you know, I watch some stuff on Paramount Plus for free, so, and Max for free, I, I want, Disney Plus I have a subscription to, uh, because it's, um, you know, it's, it's a bundled thing that throws this thing, but it is what it is, blah, 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 uh, but Amazon, Amazon and Hulu, I get from my, uh, from Disney Plus, because Disney owns them, you know, whatever, whatever it is, doesn't matter, Max I got for free, and I watched some stuff for free, but I have to pay for the uh, the upgrade for subscription version. But I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to do that because I don't want it. But in any case, I'm going to go watch Monday Night Raw on a on a on a different stream, like watch wrestling or something like that. I'm not going to pay fifteen dollars a month for to watch just to just watch Monday Night Raw. I mean, other things, yes, like Cobra Kai and everything. Yeah, I I you know I might go back and pay $15 a month, and then you probably go up to, like, $20, $30 a month. I'm like, for, for Netflix? Come on now. I can just rent the goddamn DVD. Or buy the DVD, but, you know, there's no, be best why I don't sell them anymore. I don't know why. But in any case, yeah. So, Monday Night Raw will be off the USA Network at the end of September, and then... From October to January, don't know where it's going to be. So, we have to stay tuned for that. But the other other news that of the day, and I'm very happy about this. Kevin Patrick Milov has been fired. He has been fired. Re released, fired, so I guess the same thing. But he is gone from WWE, and I couldn't be any more happier. And I think a lot of you great people, people in the ah! WC are up in arms and like, yes, it happened, thank the Lord, doing a little dancing, yay, Kevin Patrick's gone, bye-bye, so in his place, Michael Cole, for now, will be on SmackDown this Friday night, that's definite, um, and then as we get into February, I, I would assume Cole's gonna do Raw on SmackDown, Temporarily until they find a replacement, which we don't know who that could be. Uh, it might be Vic Joseph. I hope it is. I'd like to see Vic Joseph and Corey Graves on commentary. I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, they could. Or, like, they could bring up Booker T, but why? Why don't you have Booker T as the lead play-by-play -play guy? Then you're like, what, what's the reason? Then Corey Graves might have to be the head play-by-play -play guy. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but you know, he's boring at times, but it is what it is, but I still think they should, they should call up Mauro Ronaldo, they should call him up, I know he has some issues with, with Corey Graves from the past, but, you know, it's the past of the past, let's let bygones be bygones, work professionally, and, you know, I think Hunter should kind of keep an eye on Corey Graves and his little, uh, his little Twitter machine and, you know, social media crap, because he likes the Talk, talk, talk up a storm. Yep. Once in a while. And, you know, thinks he's JBL and can bully everybody. You know, GB, out JBL bullied Moro off SmackDown, basically. And, you know, Moro's de been dealing with depression and anxiety. And, you know, he had, they, uh, they kind of, he, I think he either left or WWE released him for some odd reason. But I think Moro just like, it was, just couldn't handle JBL being a dick. You know, God forbid Moro comes back, he has to do, you know, and JBL's not there, but, you know, once in a while, he'll be back there, but, but, I don't think he'll have to deal with JBL, fuck JBL as it is, but, but I would bring back Moro Ronaldo to do SmackDown, 
And I think he would be amazing at it. Vic Joseph, probably be amazing at it. I wish they got Tom Phillips, but he's doing TNA. They, you know, JR's contract at AEW is, is pretty much going to be done soon. People's, people are going on Twitter. It's like, hey, let's get JR back. <laughs> yeah, JR is, ain't going to be coming back to WWE. I don't, and if they, he's, he's not like a guy that can do two hours anymore. I mean, he's barely on AEW these days, and he's usually doing the main event. And, um, rarely, I mean, rarely on the pay-per-view, you see him for the entire pay-per-view. So, you're not going to get JR to come back to do two hours of SmackDown. Or a pay-per-view. Not going to happen. So, and besides, I think J, you know, JR's probably got one more f- contract in him to do AEW. But if he wants to do it, you know... If he wants to get a new contract, that's great, but, you know, he's not going to be on every ramp, every uh, Dynamite, or even Collision, or Pay-Per-View. He's just going to do, you know, a match, maybe two matches at most. You know, because he's old, he's still got that thing in his leg. You know, he's getting older, my friends. He's, you know, him and, I mean, Shivani's getting close to 70, so, JR is getting close to 70, and, uh, you know... They might, you know, they still got some good years left in them, maybe, but, you know, as you, you know, JR's health has kind of been, like, up and down, especially with the, his, his wound in his, in his leg, so. But, Shivani looks great on commentary, he's always, he's always been, sometimes he's been wacko, but, you know, it's Tony Shivani, but, or as we call him, Tony Baloney, but in any case... JR's not going to be back in WWE yet. I, I doubt it. I, I mean, who knows? But I'm thinking they can get, you know, they can put Vic Joseph there, Morrow, maybe call Jimmy Smith back. I don't know. I'm not, I mean, I didn't like, I mean, he was okay, but, you know, people were like, oh, what's this guy doing? He's like, MMA guy. You know, at least he was better than Adnan Verk. Just saying. Just saying, that guy stunk. He stunk worse than Kevin Patrick. Holy crap. But, I don't know. I don't know what WWE is going to do. If they're going to hire a new guy. Or they're going to find somebody, you know, in the entertainment world. I mean, they really should call this guy and another guy named Joe Cronin. But, I'm just saying. Just saying, Hunter. You know, Hunter, Hunter, Tony Khan, you know. You know, you're looking for people, you know, have an audition. I'll do it. I'll do it. Joe Cronin would definitely send a tape in. I'll send a fucking video in. I'll, I'll, I'll apply. I'll fly down to Florida. I'll fly down to Florida, go to uh, go to the Performance Center or wherever I gotta go. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll fly, I'll go up, not fly up, but I'll go up to Connecticut. For, go to WWE headquarters and talk to Hunter and Steph. Hi, Steph. You know, be professional about it, but, you know, do some epic fucking commentary, you know? I'll be a little bit rusty. I might be nervous, but, you know, I'll I'll do what I can, you know? I'll show that passion and that energy that you, I mean, Michael Cole can give you, you know? Because you rarely see from Corey Graves, you know, if he did, you know, blah, 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 but, you know, you know, a good old, give, give a little JR-isms, like, by God, I killed him, oh my God, you know, give, give, you know, my, my 40 some odd years of wrestling history, you know, you know, Kenny tried to jump out the window to escape, are you blind, you know, make you stop, you know, kind of bring, bring the old school back, old school into the new school, if you will, you know, I'm not gonna tell stories and everything, but, you know, I'll give, I'll give, like, a JR-ism, you know, by God, you know, he's dead, you know, go, you know, if I see something, like, freaking epic, I'm like, oh my God, you know, oh my God, you know, like, like, Joey Styles, I'll, like, bring, that style, that, no pun intended, that style to fucking epic comment, uh, fucking SmackDown or Raw or even NXT. 
You know, I'll do it. You know, I might not be great. You know, people think like, oh, with a schmuck, you know. I'll do it, but I'll do it better than you could probably do it. I mean, I mean, Joe Cronin has been saying he, you know, WWE's kind of, you know, and, you know, BG James, you know, Mr. Uh, Road Dog Jesse James, Brian James, kind of, you know, <laughs> doesn't like him. Yeah, but Joe, Joe could do SmackDown in his sleep. You know? I can't do it in my sleep, but I can do a good job way better than Kevin Patrick. You know? Or even Booker T. Oh, yeah! I mean, I'm not going to scream and mark out. It's like, like it's, unless it's like Roman or something like that. It's like, we have to stand for our tribal chief, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Corey, stand up, you idiot. You know? I'm not going to say idiot, but like, stand up! Acknowledge him! Come on, Corey, stand up! You know, and then, you know, when Oscar, Eo, and Kyrie arrive, I have to be on my best behavior, you know. The lovely ladies of damage control. Oh, yes. You know, you got to respect them, Corey. You know, God forbid Bailey does what, what she does to Michael Cole on a, on a pretty much weekly basis on SmackDown. <laughs> oh, God. That would be, that would be hilarious. I'm like, why are you bothering me? We're Niner fans. We're supposed to be cool. Come on. Come on, Pam. I mean, Bailey, you know. I love you, but come on. You know. I have to keep me away from a few people that uh, I can't stand, but, you know. But I have to be respectful. I mean, I'll talk to Randy. It's like, you do a fake as fuck, RKO. It's like, hey, Randy, you, uh, you, you ever, ever you seen the Gilmore Cutter lately? No, I never heard of it. Oh, uh, you will. <laughs> Keep, don't fuck with me. I'll, I'll give you it. But, you know. And just maybe, miss, maybe, you know, one day I'll meet, I'll, um, I'll meet the goats of all goats of the modern era. That's the Undertaker. How you doing, sir? Give him a, give him a firm handshake. Look him in the eye, goddammit. And same thing with Roman. And the wise man, Mr. Paul Hammond, you know. Solo might intimidate me, but, you know. Because he's that solo, but. You know, most of the people might intimidate me, you know. I'd be, I'd be like, like, scared to death meeting them. But, not the Undertaker. I would be, like, in, in awe of him. Roman, the same thing. Oscar, Eo, and Kyrie, I'd be like, uh, my, I have to wear two pairs of underwear. Cause you know how my dick will just explode meeting them, but I digress. But in any event, yeah. So, but yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm going nuts. Anyway, anyway, I gotta. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, I gotta start getting ready because I have to be in the city by two. So, and it takes me like forty five minutes to get there. So, by by uh by train. So anyway. So I'm going to get out of here and get ready for to go to my job because I got to make the money you fucking wish you had. Uh, but in any event, uh, let me know your thoughts about Kevin Patrick getting fired today. Uh, like I said, Michael Cole is going to be temporarily on SmackDown for, for the foreseeable future until they find somebody. Or well, just maybe Michael Cole just do, just do Raw and SmackDown. I don't know. But... We'll see what happens with that. So leave me your thoughts and opinions down below about that. And about Raw and the USA Network not extending uh, Monday Night Raw past the end of September. And where they go after, uh, before they get to Netflix, I don't, like I said, I don't know where they're going to go. Would it be Peacock or Sci-Fi? That's not, the WWE Network is done. They, they, that's been dismantled. They took it down, I think, today. They're taking it down today. Whatever. Uh, well, we'll see what happens with that. And um, much more later today and this weekend. we got the Royal Rumble on Saturday night. Should be unpredictable like it always is. Uh, Smackdown and Rampage tomorrow. Should be fun, you know. Gonna be in Miami, bitch, tomorrow. You know, Roman should be on the show. Or has to be on the show. I think he will be on the show because we have to acknowledge him as Friday nights. So, 
I don't think Roman will be on the SmackDown after uh, the Rumble on February February the uh, the second. That's Groundhog Day <laughs> of all days. So we'll probably we'll probably see Roman next week too. You know, to follow up uh, the Rumble when he when he's gonna smash Randy, AJ, and Eli Drake in a Fatal Four Way match, and then uh, see if you know what happens if uh, Dwayne. Makes an appearance at the Rumble Saturday night. Or maybe he'll appear, come on SmackDown and then they'll set up the match for Mania, which may or may not happen. Who knows? Maybe Cody wins the Rumble. Maybe Cody gets into the Elimination Chamber. I don't know, and I don't really care. But, you know, the SI story, you know, people are saying take that with a grain of salt because... You know, even now, now Hunter and company is like, oh, you know, don't believe everything you see, you know, everything you hear online. You know, oh, sources close to Triple H say this, these two matches are going to happen, like Seth and, Seth and, and Walter and Punk and Cody. I mean, Triple H never announced it, so, like, why, you know, why, why are you giving out false information, like what's the great it usually does, but, and melts, you know, melts are half the time, but. I mean, but it looks like the way that, that it's going, you, they put it on TV that, you know, Cody and Punk might go at it at, at, uh, at Mania. And Walter and, and Seth freaking Rollins, I mean, you know, teasing maybe. I think that's what that's why they did the story, because they're teasing. And people's like, oh, don't believe that, you know, believe Hunter. I'm like, I don't know. It is what it is. So, I mean, if they if we get those matches, I think it'll be a better card than what we were, we were originally were thinking about. Seth versus Punk on night one. Cody versus Roman on night two. Who wants to see that? I'd rather, I'd rather have Co- uh, uh, Cody and Punk on night one in the main event. Not, well, the co-main event. Or just the main event. And then have Seth and Walter beat the... Beat the crap out of each other on night one in the main event. And then Roman and Rock doesn't really have to be for the belt on night two. They just just have tribal combat. You don't need they don't need the belt, but I mean, we have to see what happens on Saturday night, whether Dwayne appears or not. And if he doesn't, then I think Dwayne's gonna be some gonna come around sometime. Sometime in February, you know, he's gonna like just make you know make a surprise appearance. It's like, hey, Roman, remember what I said? I want, I might want to sit at the head of the table. And Roman's like, fuck you, Dwayne. You know, I think the only way that Roman and Rock can happen is if Rock is in the Rumble. I mean, there is surprises, so Rock could be number thirty. Anybody can be really number thirty. So imagine it's the if it was the Rock. I'm like, yep, there we go, there you go. Rock's gonna win the Rumble, face Roman at Mania. There, there, there you go. And then other people are like, oh no, it's not gonna happen. Rock and Rock and uh and Roman, they might, they, you know, Rock will come out challenge Roman for next year's next year's um WrestleMania. But like, okay, I mean, do it like like Rock Cena won. At WrestleMania 29. Uh, 28, I mean. Do that. I'll have a whole year build. I mean, do we want to see that? Uh, kind of, but then what's what's Roman going to do between now and then? So, if I was WWE, if, if it was just me personally, I would have maybe Rock up here in the Rumble, win the Rumble... And then have the Elimination Chamber, have Punk win win the Chamber match. And then, I mean, they need a number one contender for Seth Rollins. You put Walter, you can put Walter in the Chamber, I don't, I don't advise that, but you put Walter in the Chamber, Punk and Cody. And then on the SmackDown side, I don't know if they'll do anything with SmackDown. I mean, Roman and Rock, that's, that's the match. And, uh, you know, the men's chamber match will be for the uh, the World Heavyweight Championship. You put Jey Uso in there, maybe. Drew McIntyre, definitely. Poppy Priest. So, I mean, you could have Punk, Cody, 
Walter, Drew, Jay, and maybe a surprise sixth entrance, or I don't know who. You could do that. The winner of that gets the number one contender to Seth Rollins' title. And then, you know, maybe Punk eliminates Cody, and then they have that match. That's how it leads up to their match. Walter maybe wins the chamber. Because Drew ain't winning it. I don't even know what Drew's going to do at, the, at, at, at WrestleMania. If he doesn't win the Rumble. I know he's not going to win the Rumble. What's going to happen at chamber? At the chamber? He's probably going to be in the chamber. Lose. And then his contract's pretty much up right around after WrestleMania. Poppy Priest probably be defending the uh, unified tag team belts against I don't know who. And Finn Balor's contract's ending pretty soon, but I think he's going to resign. Drew probably will resign. If not, he's going to probably going to AEW or TNA. But, I mean, people still think that Brock Lesnar might appear in the Rumble and go after Walter, and then Walter and Brock have a fight at Mania for the Intercontinental title, which Brock doesn't really need. And Walter, will just, I mean, Brock will just put over Walter... But, I mean, Walter versus Seth. Yeah, kind of a kind of a dream match. Kind of, but not great. But, I think the way that it was, they were teasing it on Monday, I mean, we could see Walter win the Rumble, face Seth, beat him severely, or, God forbid, Seth somehow survives Walter, and then maybe Poppy Priest comes in, finally cashes in, wins the title, but then, you know, he's a transitional champ. Probably losing a payback to, to Punk or Cody or whoever. I don't give a shit. And uh, then, you got, I mean, Roman's going to beat The Rock, obviously. Probably won't appear at at, uh, at Payback. I think the next time we'll probably see him is either at Money in the Bank. Or it's going to be at Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia. Well, whatever the Saudi Arabia show is, probably be Night of Champions. I don't know, but we'll have to see what happens with, with that. So let me know all your thoughts about that with uh, WrestleMania plans being changed, uh, the Rumble, you know, Kevin Patrick getting fired, Michael Cole getting put in temporarily. Who do you think may be uh, a good fit for that? Either it be Morrow or Vic Joseph or somebody else, uh, and let me know your thoughts about, uh, the USA Network, uh, you know, kicking Raw off, off their network at the end of September, so there will be no season premiere coming up in October, unless they do that on Peacock or whatever, season premiere on Peacock, oh, we're going to Netflix in January, that's when you should do a season premiere, just saying, but, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with that. NXT will have their season premiere in October on the CW11. Uh, SmackDown on the U- USA Network will still have have wrestling. It'll be on Friday night with SmackDown, most likely on Friday night. Because uh, I didn't hear anything about SmackDown going to Netflix. I just heard SmackDown's going to the USA Network. So, yeah. Fuck Raw, go to Netflix, and then SmackDown, you can come back. You can have Smack, we can have SmackDown for the next three, five years on Friday nights, you know, and get really shitty ratings because, you know, Fox, they're getting like 2.1 up to 2.6 by my Fox in September, by the way. So, they're going to go from a 2 point, at most, a 2.6, probably down to like a 1.4 or maybe 1.8 at most. I mean, they'll probably dabble near the 2 million mark. But, still, I, I think, uh, you know, NXT is going to get massive ratings on the CW11 because everybody gets the CW11. So, I wouldn't be surprised that they get, like, close to a million views starting in, starting in October. Like, they'll start beating Ramp... Uh, well, they'll beat Rampage, definitely. Uh, they'll be beating AEW in the ratings starting in October. Even when they go, if they go head to head, forget it. You know, baseball's coming up. 
you know, TBS will be doing the uh, the playoffs, the first, I think the first, the wild card round, and I think the ALDS, I don't know, I think the ALCS is going to be on Fox, well, obviously, so, so most of October, Dynamite is going to be preempted, and with TNT, the same thing on Friday nights, and pretty much maybe Saturday nights, with uh, Rampage and Collision maybe being preempted, but, and, you know, Dynamite might have to go on Tuesday nights, maybe once or twice in in the month of October, going head to head with with uh, NXT, and they're going to get obliterated. And Tony Khan's going to have a fit, like he did last time, when NXT blew him away. When they just had, they had to get Taker, Cena, Cody, you know, to come down so they can just obliterate Dynamite, and they just had edges. Debut match, which was horrible against Luchasaurus. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll have to see what happens in the next few months. And um, that's that's pretty much it. We'll see. All right, I really gotta go. I gotta start um getting ready to go. I gotta leave in about an hour or so. So I'm gonna get out of here, go to meet job, and I'm gonna head to the city, have some fun, do my job. I gotta do. A few things, you know. I'll be out most of the, most of the afternoon. Uh, and then I'm going to meet the missus in um, the city for dinner. And then I'm going to come home. And I'm going to watch Ring of Honor. Maybe watch a little TNA. Maybe I'll do a Ring of Honor TNA. Uh, well, separate videos tonight. Ring of Honor and TNA. I'm going to start trying to bring back the TNA reviews that you all know and love back in the day. Um, and that's that. Friday. Um, probably going to... Well, Friday, Friday I'm going to try to do, uh, sometime Friday afternoon, I'm going to do uh, uh, Royal Rumble predictions, definitely got to do that, because Saturday I'll be out pretty much all, uh, not all day, but most of the day, and then I'm going to be home in time for the Rumble, and I'll do my review Saturday night, because uh, I can't do it Saturday, I can't do the predictions Saturday afternoon. I will be doing Smackdown on Rampage. Uh, late tomorrow night on, on, on the Kill Demons channel. And then Sunday, uh, early Sunday morning, not like early Sunday morning, Sunday morning, Sunday, early Sunday afternoon, because the Niners don't play till 6.30 anyway, uh, I'll be doing my collision review, and then that'll be it. And if the Niners go to the Super Bowl, then you know there's going to be a video of me going completely berserk the Niners going to the Super Bowl to face either the Chiefs or the, or the Ravens at the Super Bowl rematch. Hopefully, Debo comes back to practice. We don't know yet, but I mean, he was on the practice. He, he didn't practice, but he was on. He was, uh, you know, kind of running, sprinting, and carrying the ball underneath his arm. He looked pretty damn good doing it. So maybe he returns to the practice field today. Test the test the shoulder, which is not broken, but still in a little bit of discomfort. I still, I still think, you know, he's 50-50 to play, so I don't know, it might fall on Kyle's hands, it might, you know, it depends on what Debo wants to do. If Debo wants to go out there and give it his all and, you know, God forbid, risk, it, risk getting severely hurt, and he's out for the Super Bowl, which will suck, but anyway, anyway, I gotta go, so I'm getting another call, so I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Bye!